So I just recently graduated from my master's degree program and decided to treat myself to my first Dragon Ball Z figure. I'm a big Dragon Ball fan as you could probably guess from this channel, but I was more into the video games than any type of merchandising back as a kid. And so I felt like at least one cool figure to chill out on my desk wouldn't hurt. After a bit of searching and deliberation, I landed on this pretty dope figure of Super Saiyan Goku. It has a lot of detail and texture to it, so what better to do with that than to 3D scan it? 3D scanning would essentially allow me to create a digital 3D model from a real physical object. This is the same process used by a lot of game development companies to speed up the creation process for their 3D in-game assets. It's used in a lot of games that are trying to look very realistic. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen all the different items around my house that I've scanned before. There are a lot of different ways to scan stuff nowadays, and in the past used to require very expensive hardware and cameras. However, devices like the iPhone are equipped handily with a lot of what we need. For this video, we'll be using a combination of photogrammetry and laser scanning through the apps Polycam and Scaniverse. While not as popular and powerful as apps like Polycam or Luma, I like Scaniverse mainly because it's free, doesn't process my photos in the cloud, and I can scan as many items as I want. Photogrammetry requires taking multiple pictures of an object from multiple angles and using matching and structure from motion algorithms to form a dense point cloud of the object we're looking at. This dense point cloud is then meshed into the final 3D model. Laser scanning is as you would expect, sending small lasers out of our device that will essentially report back how far a point on the surface of our object is. Laser scanning helps serve as a ground truth, whereas the photos we take through photogrammetry help add texture and detail to the object. The iPhone 13 Pro comes with a built-in LiDAR, which is exactly what we need to get started. There are also new techniques out there, including Gaussian splatting, which uses machine learning and special Gaussian stretch points in a point cloud to form full and very lifelike 3D reconstructions. Anyway, our goal here is to be able to take images of our subject while getting as much coverage over the object as possible. I started out with the box. The box looks easy to scan, but it actually has some interesting challenges. Its hard edges are hard for the laser scanner to pick up and for the program to properly mesh. And there's a faint, glossy reflection over the box that throws some of the photos I take off. That said, after a few tries, I was able to get the scan I was looking for. Next is the actual figure, which I've got to say looks awesome. I'm going to try this across two apps, Polycam and Scaniverse, like I said before. My first scan was using Photogrammetry with Polycam. A lot of features within this app are locked behind a paywall, and you have to send your images to the cloud for it to process. I don't use this app a lot because of that, but it did come out with good results. Only main issue is that Goku's face came out a little derpy. Something that probably could be fixed with another run. It also doesn't give you a lot of options for making a cool video like in Scaniverse. Uh, speaking of Scaniverse, we'll move on to that. Uh, the thing I like about Scaniverse is it basically has a coverage indicator that lets you know how much you need to scan before you're good. So my final mesh out of Scaniverse actually came out really good, uh, it came out crisp and I was able to make like this nice looking uh, revolving video around it which is you know again why I like Scaniverse. Once I was done with that, uh, I did the same thing, only generating a Gaussian splat in the same app. These are really good at recreating entire rooms and scenes, uh, but I've noticed that Gaussian splats can be a little bit washed out. Final Reconstruction came out absolutely perfect, though I can't really drop this into other programs in the same way I can with laser scan or photogrammetry mesh. It would take a little bit more work in post-processing to make it actually usable. Anyway, all these came out just really well, and I'd love to try and scan more figures in the future on this channel. If you like this video, and maybe you want to see more scanning content, let me know. Otherwise, uh, subscribe if you can. Okay, bye.